Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the taste, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, I prepare doggy treats with my buddy, Chrissy Patrick. But first, Mahoning County Dog Warden Diane Fry shows us the new dog pound. It's a huge improvement over their old days. Well, as you can hear by the dog barking, we're here on Industrial Road at the Mahoning County Dog Pound, and I'm here with our dog warden, Diane Fry. And this will not be your home for long, no, will it? No, no. Thankfully, we are getting ready within the next month to six weeks, getting ready to move out and move into our new facility. You know, I never realized how obsolete yeah. this building was. Right. I mean, you tell me it was built in like the early 70s. Right. And initially it was built to accommodate how many dogs? 22 dogs for three days. And then they would be put down. And that was the accepted standard back then. That is no longer the case. And we feel a responsibility. We keep them longer than most people do so that we can see what kind of temperament they have if they're, if they're ill. Um, we have a vet tech on staff that is phenomenal. He's our kennel manager. He's in charge of the dogs. So we do a lot to make sure these dogs are responsibly put back into the community or safely returned to their owners. What is your maximum holding now? If you're talking 22, what is it now? Well, and, and we'll take you through so you can see really it's, um, we've had as much as 72 dogs in this facility and it's it's horrible it's it's crazy it's hard to do that and still do it correctly and be responsible about it and we should be the example do you take cats no no we can't we're the dog warden and there's actually no state law pertaining to cats in the state of ohio which is that's another huge problem for the community and at some point you know, there's there's other facilities that handle cats and do it do it very well, but they're overrun. We're actually all of us. We're all filled to filled to the maximum capacity lately. Who do you work with when when you find a dog that is really of a good temperament, that um, isn't violent? Do you work with? Any other dog shelters or anything where you are, you know, able we, to assist them and giving yes, them dogs? Yes, we do. Um, we work with a lot of rescues through Friends of Fido. They're a group that uh, got together and got their 501c3, and they they handle pull fees. They they veterinary their do they veterinary our dogs, so our dogs get medical care when they need to. We couldn't do half of what we do and keep these dogs healthy without them. They have been phenomenal, and we work with a lot of people like Animal Charity, where we work in conjunction with them with Angels. We work with a lot of different rescues, one of a kind, Legacy. Um, a lot of the local rescues, they've they all pull together. Everybody's got the same goal. They want to see these dogs handled responsibly and put into good homes. What do you think the biggest problem facing, you know, the dog population in Mahoning County is right now? You know, it, it varies. Um, a lot of, you know, a lot of people try to focus on that breed specific, the pit bull problem. Um, every decade has had its breed. There were the Shepherds, there were the Dobermans, yeah. then there were the Rottweilers, and, you know, now it's the pit bulls. Um, some of the Mastiffs. But, you know, the problem is, and when you get so many of one, then it becomes much more difficult to be responsible about it. And just like some of those breeds, um, you know, some of these dogs are hard to put back, but it doesn't. We've had, we've had Labradors and Golden Retrievers that we haven't been able to put that back are, out you know, of the They community. just have a very aggressive right. exactly. nature. You know, when I spoke to you a while back mm -hmm. when I had found a dog, a little cute dog had wandered onto my back porch and it was late at night, but it did have a dog tag. Right. So the next morning we spoke and I gave the number and you were able to identify who the owner was. Mm -hmm. Is that a big problem, the lack of licensing, the people that aren't registering their dogs? Absolutely. In the state of Ohio, every single dog should be registered. That Some states don't have that, ours does. And it's not just about finding a home, which of course it helps. I mean, that it was helps. the easiest way, because exactly. dogs get lost, they right. get out. Accidents happen all the time, that, but that's not, it, it's, that's your legal proof of ownership. And that's showing just like a car, you're responsible for that dog. Rick Tunison is the kennel manager. You're also a vet tech. Yeah. 
And you really are a jack of all trades here. You, you also go and rescue these dogs when, when they're reported loose. Right. And what is one of the most daring rescues you've had in recent memory? <laughs> well, we've actually had a couple of them. Um, one of the more exciting ones was with the Youngstown Fire Department for dogs that had somehow managed to come out an upstairs bedroom window on a vacant property and were on the third floor of the uh, roof. And w was there a fire in the no. structure? They just there was no fire. Somehow they managed to get out an open window and got up on a rooftop and were unable to figure out how to get back in. Oh my gosh. And when you, I mean, obviously you are a dog lover. Right. I mean, you must rescue some of these dogs and, and, and it's deplorable, the conditions that they're being raised. It's, it's a very mentally taxing job. Um, every day we see things that, you know, you wish that you didn't have to see or that you wish that you could forget sometimes. Every situation, you know, when you think you've seen absolutely the worst and there's nothing else they can throw at you, they never let you down. We'll be right back with the unveiling of the new Dog Pound. Bill, you were not kidding when you said you were updating this patio. I love the furniture. I love the shade. I mean, this is going to be the best place to party all summer long. Say hello summer. And you know what? We want people to feel like they're on vacation when they come to the magic tree and hang out on our patio. I mean, this really does have a great vibe. And I love this drink menu. I mean, for summer. The mermaid water, the creamsicle martini, and then you're going to have the bands out here too. Live music all summer long. We have our summer drink menu. Great food here, as you know. And, uh, you know, put on your shorts, put on your flip-flops, and come on out and hang out with us. That's right. Hey, and you know, you can't count on Mother Nature, but you can always count on the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Cheers! Cheers, Casey. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Mayflower Wallum is your full-service independent insurance agency for what matters most. Home, auto, life, boat, RV, umbrella. We'll find the right product at the right price for your family. Mayflower Wallum with three locations to serve you. Part of growing up in Youngstown is growing up with Rolly Brothers Markets. Even friends who have moved out of town come to shop and say hi when they're home for a visit. And my family has always shopped at Rolly's and today they are still my favorite grocery store. My recipes depend on the best ingredients and that's why I get them at Rolly's, where you'll always find the freshest food at the best prices. Rooley Brothers is a proud sponsor of the KC Malone Show. The quality that customers have come to expect is true local flavor. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. How many dogs come here pregnant? Oh, uh, we've had six or seven this year. You know, that's a major problem in the community. That's one of the biggest facing departments like ours is the fact that people are irresponsible and don't take the time to get the dogs spayed or neutered. How excited are you for your new digs? Oh, I can't wait. Um, we have really outgrown this building. Um, this, this building is absolutely horrible. It's it served its purpose for the years, um, but we're going to be able to offer new things to the community at the new place. We're actually going to be able to house puppies. It'll be a safer environment. Oh, I, I'm so excited. Are you ready to oh, take me down there and I give me ready. the tour? Let's go. We're going. So 
this is the administration side. This is the administration side, just this in the one hall, and there's a men and women's locker room in the back. They had nowhere, one of the deputies I'll never remember, I'll never forget, she, uh, she came in, she was in Mill Creek Park, and she was up in this crevice trying to get this little Jack Russell Terrier out. She, came, she was covered from head to toe with mud, and, but she got that little dog, and she had to go home, and she had to drive home in her car because there was nowhere for her to clean up at that current facility. Well, and I'm so, sure that there's just accidents happen when oh, you're handling the oh, dog. Of course. If you have lost a dog, if you found a stray, if oh, you okay. this is where you come. Um, there's public restrooms now. Uh, and this is this is actually the kennel manager's domain. Uh-oh, is this, this is where, where you'll be hanging this right? Is where I will be hanging. <laughs> and we actually have a police kennel now where the police at night, Mill Creek Park all the time, and a lot of the different departments will pick up a dog and they don't know what to do with it. So they'll actually have a keypad entrance and there's a beautiful run in four cages. So every night, if, if they happen to pick up a dog, there's a safe place for them to put that oh, dog. That's, that's great. The first Look thing that happens this. when they come in is they're gonna come over here. They're gonna get their picture taken, a uh, light exam, um, vaccinated, heartworm tested, um, scan for a microchip and then they're going to move into the next part of the facility which is where they will complete their three-day stray hold which is required by law so this is where every dog that comes into the facility will come through this area right here so after they get all their shots they're gonna move into here where they're going to hold their their three three days so this is almost like a quarantine yeah, this is their that's quarantine. exactly okay what this and is. look this at the quarantine. size for the bigger dogs well, i mean and these this, this is, the is smallest, amazing this is the smallest run we have because it's just for three days and especially if they're sick or they're injured you want to give them time to decompress you want to give them a small area just to settle in the bigger dogs are all in this room for their quarantine um this is where they all do their three days at and like I said, they're here for three days and then they'll move in on day four to the next part of the facility where they'll finish out their 14 day quarantine for disease before becoming available for adoption. So this will be for small dogs. Oh. And we have a mirrored, we have a room exactly like this on the other side for just puppies, but all on different air handlers. So if somebody's sick, everybody is not infected. This is where they finish out their 14 days at over here. Right. Um, they're held for 11 days back here. This is all the large breed dogs. Um, after they do their legal three day hold and they become property of the county, um, in Mahoney County, we hold them for an extra 11 days just to make sure that they're not sick. Wow, now this is much nicer. Right, right. This My is gosh, this looks like my room in college. This is like my dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's is. definitely plenty of room in there. And plus, now they've been here long enough, they want to look Big enough for me here. Let's see. If it, is it comfortable? Oh, they're very comfortable. What do you think, Bill? You like it? It's good fit. Do I look belong here? <laughs> here is the outside uh, play area for the little dogs. And we have that huge exercise area where if we're successful and we can get them playing, that will get so much of that energy yeah. worked off and that will make them so much better. So this, now this is like- This is puppy adoption. Okay, so the puppies will be here for people to come in and, and view them. Right. When, are there special adoption hours? Or is it just when you're open? It's when we're open back here and for the large- And this is the play area where they come and- This is the indoor play area for um, demonstrations, for meet and greets, for, we're gonna try to learn how to address uh, dog selective behavior. So you have seen the before and now the after. So 1230 North Meridian Road, okay. and this is uh, due to open late summer, early fall. We'll keep you posted on the exact date. And you know, this is beautiful. It is. And you know, both of you, you obviously love the dogs that you care for. Thank and you know, you. We're, we're really lucky here in Mahoney County to Thank have both you. of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And this is an amazing facility, really. Look for this grand opening, and thank you so much. Thank you. This has been thank a, you very a much real eye-opener. Thank you for coming. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I'd like to give you some free advice. That's right, a lawyer giving free advice. Hard to believe, right? If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it alone. 
call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, handling the medical bills, insurance forms, and all the red tape. And hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court or have to pay upfront fees. Need a lawyer? Call us. Hi everybody, I'm Danny, owner and operator of Cthulhu Prime Meats, a third generation butcher shop that not only specializes in quality, but also in customer service and doing things in a new technological way. Chris here is our customer service manager. Chris, what do you think that we do differently than any other grocery store? I think we personally not only offer great product, but we can offer a great customer service experience as well. We try and treat all our customers like they were family and friends, ask how their family's doing just so they can keep in touch, and give them that customer experience that they deserve. And the nice part is we not only do that inside the store, but also on CthulhuPrimeats.com, where you can buy a lot of our products that we carry here, whether it be grass-fed beef, organic chicken, some of our specialty burgers and bacon, those are wonderful and we're going to provide that same customer experience online as we do in store. Come see us in store or online. Make your next meal one to remember. There's a new standard in assisted living. One that combines comfort, luxury, convenience and the highest quality expert care. Your loved ones can experience it now in Canfield's premier senior living location. The Inn at Ironwood offers fine dining and amenities such as a concierge, salon, housekeeping and laundry services. And a truly elegant setting in Canfield. Call us for more information or visit us and take a tour. The Inn at Ironwood, Canfield's premier senior living location. Mayflower Wollum is your full-service independent insurance agency for your business. We work with several companies so you have choices for your insurance needs. Commercial properties, professional liability, bonding, and general. Trust Mayflower Wollum. Okay guys, you've just made the most important decision of your life. Now what do you do? Your engagement ring should be as special as your bride-to-be. She deserves better than look-alike inventory. Remember, a bigger price tag does not mean better quality. Real men get real jewelry. It's time to get real. Here's what we offer. A unique selection, two graduate gemologists, two craftsmen to design exactly what you want, and a local family-owned business for the third generation. You know what to do. Get real, get Kamara. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Well, as you can see, today, the Casey Malone Show has officially gone to the dogs. Yay! We've got some very special guests. We've got McKay Patrick, Hi, McKay. my dear friend Chrissy Patrick from uh, Mixie 98.9, you hear her every morning. And we've got Cooper, Cooper in the house. My mom's dog. And you know, Chrissy spoils this McKay Broughton. I don't think so, Case. I think you do. There's you how can you spoil a dog? He has birthday parties. Yes. He has anniversary parties. Yes. Summer he, parties. Summer parties. More celebrations than the humans have. Aww, and he's a good Chrissy boy. always makes special treats. So we're gonna make that doggy ice cream. Correct. For these warm days. And we're also gonna make pup cakes. Pup cakes are first up. And uh, the pup cakes, oh, they bake in the little mini muffin tins and frosting is optional. All these ingredients are good for the dogs, lots of protein. So let's get cooking for our doggies. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe, one large apple, peeled, cored, and shredded, one and one half cups wheat flour, quarter cup oatmeal, two teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, half a cup plain yogurt, half a cup water, quarter cup vegetable oil, two tablespoons honey, two eggs, one cup shredded cheddar cheese. For this recipe, frosting is optional, but if you would like to make it, eight ounce low fat cream cheese, two tablespoons yogurt, two tablespoons honey, two to three tablespoons flour. We have preheated the oven to 400 and I've greased the mini muffin tins. And the first step will be... Mix our dry ingredients. Okay. We're going to use two bowls for this, okay? So okay. I'll be dry ingredients. I, I'll be wet. Great, Casey! <laughs> All right, first you take your wheat flour. Okay. Your oatmeal. Mm-hmm. The baking powder. Okay. And baking soda. Now, in the other bowl, I will put together 
the yogurt. Now, Chrissy says that McCabe is a fan of the um, low-fat vanilla. Yeah. So that is what I bought for this recipe. Okay, that's fine. Because you, could, you could use, use the plain, too. A right? lot of people just use the plain yogurt. He kind of leans toward the vanilla. And for our next recipe, the pup cakes, you can either use the plain or if he likes the vanilla. What? what you know what, Casey? Whatever he likes. Whatever McCabe he wants, gets. he gets. We try not to make it too hard. Water, now this is all our yogurt, the water, the oil, oil the honey. honey, and the eggs. Are you? I want to see. I've watched this, you do it on TV before. I'm not a really good egg. Razzle dazzle me with that. Okay. Now you just keep oh. stirring that up. I give you all the hard no stuff. No pressure. See how I take the easy stuff? Yeah. How you doing? Don't get any shells oh. in my dog's treat. Oh. <laughs> you see me I nervous. I would have preferred you did that in a separate bowl. Okay, now there we go. Now we're gonna mix up those wet ingredients really nicely. Chrissy's very moist. And then we're gonna get our. We can add our apples to the moist mixture. Okay. And of course, the cheese, which is which McCabe is, already had. His yeah, this is not this. actually the correct amount because somebody had a taste <laughs> test. He is a cheese freak, but who isn't? Now we mix that up. And then the next step is combine your wet Now moisture. I have the hand mixer. Oh, up. that'll be way better. Okay, then doing it by hand. Sure. All right. It's yummy. Okay. When you smell this baking, you're gonna want to try it. Well, and I it, can eat this. And it tastes good. There's nothing in there. That no, it's it's all people food, and it's all good. You can do low fat yogurt. You can do the low fat cheese. The wheat flour is good for you. Well, I think that looks combined. Yeah, it looks great. So we sh should start filling the muffin tins? I would do that, yeah, because uh, we've got our oven ready to go, and, and they're quick. What are you going to okay. scoop them out with? Now we fill our little, I like the mini. Now feel free to use the big tins. Should and we fill it all the way to the top? Yeah, give them a little, you know, because they do puff. So we'll fill them about right to the edge. Yeah, give them a little room. And if you want to use big muffin tins, I do this for when he's having his friends over because it's easier to pass out everybody their own mini cake. If you're just making it for your dog, you might want to use a big one and just break them off a piece of it. Now we pop these into the oven that we preheated at 400. That's the microwave. Oh, I don't cook a Go lot. Go in the lower oven, Chris. This is Casey Malone kitchen. 20 Five, minutes. 20 minutes. We have it at 400 and the pup cakes will be ready to sample. The boys are getting restless. While the pup cakes are baking, we'll make the frosting. But you say McCabe's not a fan no, of this, huh? No, made it once. One birthday party and then I never did it again. He didn't care for it. Well, so we'll show you how to make hey, it. And maybe your pooch will like it. I'm like, anything you don't want a calorie, I do that too. Right, I think gonna, I'd like to eat this. We're just going to. Cream cheese. Just the, and we did the cream cheese. And Gross. Turn it down, down a little Lily. Bit. Hey, this is high tech here. Now that's a little bit of um, just cream cheese with the, the yogurt. yogurt. <laughs> and now the honey. Okay, now now don't start adding the flour yet. We're gonna use that just as a thickening agent to get into it like a frosting. So let's okay. get all this blended. So you add a little, you know, you don't need to use, when they say two to three tablespoons of uh, flour. Well, I mean, this is gonna, a nice it, consistency. It already does have a nice consistency, but just a little thick and so, okay. We don't want too much. I'm not a fan of, maybe that's why I didn't like the frosting. And then we'll put that in the fridge until the uh, cakes come out of the oven. Right on. Perfect. This is the recipe that I really liked when you told me about. Well, summertime. And it's doggy ice cream. Ice cream. How could you go wrong? And it Casey? only has three ingredients. That's why I like it. Easy. Three ripe bananas. Mm -hmm. And I've got two in there. This is my last banana. I just like to break them up a little bit because we're going to make One cup of um, creamy peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter. And this is a um, 16 ounce container, so. Half the jar. Half the jar. You're doing math. And then your, for your creamy consistency. And you did get the 32 ounce. Now again, this is where your yogurt, it goes by your dog's taste. He prefers vanilla. Why, I don't know. But you could use plain yogurt as well. And now the yogurt. Mmm. Now we gotta get them. Sometimes, you know, we mash our bananas first, but. You know, these were pretty ripe, but they yeah, weren't fine. super duper ripe. Now you could be really neat and just spoon it in like that because it's really, really messy. Soupy. Yeah, and, and if you're in a hurry, 
You know, you could put a piece of paper towel down, just pour it right over there. You, and also, it, an easy tip with these um, plastic containers, I give them a little shot of Pam in there. Makes them come out nice once they're frozen. But if you don't have the ice cube trays, another thing you use is a, just a freezer bag. Pour some in the freezer bag, let that get good and hard, kind of level it out when you put it in your freezer so you have a nice, and then just cut it as you need it. For your dog, if you just want to cut a little piece on a hot day, give them a little ice cream treat, or you have um, human friends visiting who have children and they're having ice cream, why can't he have ice cream too? Why can't the dog have a treat? There you go. Now you're going to just pop those right in the freezer. You could cover them with plastic. I would let them freeze for at least two hours, then you can cover them. You know, these are pretty easy recipes. But that's I, exhausting. I try to help you out. <laughs> it's just dealing with the dogs. Usually you keep them out in the backyard with their friends, you whip up their bakery, but you know, I watch this show and you always have to have a pairing. That's and my right. suggestion is, every dog owner knows, you pair dog parties with, with a nice beer. beer. I prefer an American, <laughs> but you're going a little crazy, so little enjoy. I mean, this was a lot done. of work. Cheers, I'm gonna mm. try one of these. It really does look you good. You know, these are good. They're delicious. These don't even have that blah blah diet taste to them. Mm -mm. These might be good for us, Casey. And with the Miller Lite. They're perfectly. May I say woof. And make sure if you have a little dog like Gooby, you cut these up or put them in the baggie and break it yeah. up because they can't handle that bigger cube. It, yeah, if you think you've got a dog, discovered. some will so, just lick it and enjoy it. Some want to take the whole thing in their mouth. So. so be careful. Cut them up. But we've got all the recipes available online. Just go to CaseyMaloneShow.com. Christy, thank you. You love my dog. I love, I love him. Thank love you. you. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.